Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, another one analog circuit and we are going to building a simple linear voltage regulator in the LT spice. This is a fundamental circuit used in the electronic device to provide stable and uh, consistent voltage supply. Here we are going to designing and stimulating a linear regulator using the discrete component like uh, transistor diodes and resistor we are going to explain the regulation mechanism simulation process and effect of uh, line and uh, load regulation here we are going to convert 24 voltage input into the 12 volt voltage output so that we are considering the 24 volt input and uh, the 12 volt as output and we are considering the load resistance rl for the simulation purpose an npn transistor the q1 bc 847c act as a series transistor and we can call it as pass transistor and the transistor q2 we can call it as error amplifier and here resistor r1 drives the transistor q1 so that we can call uh, the current across the resistor r1 will be ir1 which is equal to IB1 and uh, IC2. Here IB1 is the base current for the transistor Q1 and uh, IC2 will be the collector current for the transistor Q2. So that IR1 is equal to IB1 plus IC2. And the Zener diode D1 is connected to the emitter terminal of the transistor Q2 and it is biased by the 10 kilo ohm resistor R2 and it is connected directly to the input voltage V in. Here the resistor R3 and R4 form a feedback network to maintain output regulation. Here R3 and R4 plays important role in the linear regulation. So we need to consider very lesser tolerance and a very precise value while selecting the resistor R3 and R4. Here voltage at the node B will be considered as the base voltage for the transistor Q2 and it will be determined by using Thevenin's equation and the base voltage will consider the voltage across the resistor R4. By considering Thevenin's formula Vb is equal to V out into R4 divided by R3 plus R4. Here we are considering the Zener diode with 6.33 volt because of that the voltage at node C will be 6.33 volt. Due to this, the transistor Q2 will conduct when the base voltage exceeds 7.03 volt because here we are considering base to emitter voltage of transistor Q2 will be 0.7 volt. This circuit is designed to maintain a stable output despite change in the input voltage and the load current. So let us discuss how this circuit going to work. The first condition will be the output voltage trying to increase. If output voltage try to increase above the 12 volt, the base voltage of Q2 will be increased and it will leading to increase the collector current IC2. If the collector current IC2 increase, base current IB1 will going to reduce. Here IR1 is equal to IB1 plus IC2. If the base current of transistor Q1 going to reduce, simultaneously the voltage across the collector to emitter of the transistor Q1 going to increase and uh, voltage drop across the transistor Q1 will going to increase in the form of heat and because of this the output voltage will going to reduce. The second scenario, if the output voltage attempts to falls below the 12 volt as we discussed earlier and uh, the current IB1 get increase, it leading to lower the current IC2 and uh, similarly it will decrease as the collector emitter voltage of transistor Q1 allowing the output voltage rise back toward the 
desired value. So now let's run this simulation. We'll perform the transient analysis for 10 milliseconds and also included a load resistance. The parameter is 1 kilo ohm to 10 kilo ohm with a step of 1 kilo ohm. This is the command to vary the load resistance. As you see here, even when the input voltage jumps from 20 volt to 40 volt, the output voltage remains remarkably constant at around 12 volt. This demonstrates the excellent line regulation. Now let's look at the effect of changing the load. Even if significant change in the load resistance, the output voltage varies slightly from 11.89 to 11 point and it also show the good regulation. By considering this analysis, this circuit provides stable 12 volt output despite variation in the input voltage and the load current. Remember that the component value especially R3 and R4 are critical for the desired output voltage and regulation performance. So that while choosing the R3 and R4, we need to be very careful. Thank you for the watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more electronics project and simulation. Let me know if you have any question in the comment below. See you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for the watching.